Good morning everybody, it's your boy N and we are back for another video. Hope you guys are having a good start to your day. Um, we just got Madra and Ashurama's rekit and we're going to go over that. Now I did look at the Jutsu and animations before making this video so I have a fairly good idea. Ashurama's rekit I'm not very happy with, it's very subpar, his, his animations to me are, are just terrible. Um, Madra on the other hand... He does have the most important thing that we wanted or at least anticipated, which is Evasion Strip. His new Lumber Break has stat negation with increased accuracy. So he does have uh, a very important uh, buff or debuff for outfield defense, um, for supportive unit and whatnot. His animations are decent, not amazing, but um, I would say fairly good. So I will deem him a worth it. Is this banner as a whole worth it before anniversary? I will say no. So I will say you can comfortably skip. Now if you do choose to summon, Madra is definitely the better option and worthwhile alone he is worth it yes. But again as a whole and before anniversary it's not um, overall worth it. So I hope you guys understand what I said. But without further ado let's get started and let's get into it. Okay so what sticks out about his X ultimate is that he gets invincibility. He also gets damage nullification which is the same as run. So he summons a Susan Oak, covers a wide area, decreases enemy CP, into enemies with seal slowed movement, um, decreases enemy's defense, increases user's attack, makes them invincible. Um, a level 8 buffs increased. Jutsu will no longer be affected by snap negation. Halves the ninjutsu cooldown time for a set period of time. User receives damage nullification, which is really good and definitely adds to him as a main and overall defender. Um, at level 15, it's increased. Um, for his other EX and red bar effects, uh, da, 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 da. so he does get a half EX reload time on the next EX, so that's nice. He does not get revive, it seems. He does. Um, he is able to ignore certain uh, traps, um, so that I would say that's more so targeted uh, uh, for him being a main. I would say in that regard, I would say that's not the best thing. I would I would have preferred uh, revive for him, but it does have damage nullification, so um, it's a it's a win lose thing. I think, but overall, not too bad. So the EX and multiple hits is good in my opinion. If it had invincibility stroke for like two seconds, then, then that would be really good. Again, he does get damage nullification and he does leave a damaging area. So that's so overall I'm quite happy with that. I'll give his EX ultimate a W. Okay, now this is very important, which is his new limit break. Um basically it launches a spinning attack with a sickle. I don't know why they call it sickle, but but anyways, it greatly decreases the enemy CP when the defense shinobi inflicts enemies with seal slowed movement and damage over time, decreases their defense, negates stat increases, very important, increases the user's attack and evasion rate, um, makes them invincible for a set period of time, restores HP, reduces CP damage, um, da -da 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 -da. HP increases the user's accuracy, so evasion strip, that's very nice, we need that, reduces the user's uh reduces how much damage the user receives by 30 percent um so yeah that's very good so that's what his kit needed right um so now let's go look at the animation real quick oh wait we need to check out his uh limit break details okay so plus one and two is normal three seconds strip 10 seconds immunity strip and plus two etc plus three um reduces the cp damage the user receives so again they, they are trying to add him on as a main but I'm not really looking um, at him as a main because we have final value. But again, that is a good feature at plus three. Um, he also strips four seconds of invincibility, so that's pretty cool. Not too bad. So for his new limit break and his animations, I have mixed feelings. I feel like he's doing a breakdance move. <laughs> um, I mean, overall, it has a good amount of range. Um, the duration is good. And most of all, it strips um, evasions, in other words, stat negation. Uh, one thing though is, I think his limit break and his new 4-star both detects traps and not sets that off. So that's one thing to consider if you're using him as a main. But overall, it decreases defense as well in combination with his old limit break or new 4-star, which also de um, ignores uh, nature resistances. He could deal a huge amount of damage as well. So overall, um, I'm fine with that. 
Okay, so we have his new four star um, slashes forward with multiple uh, blazing blades. Um, greatly decreases the enemy CP when they defend Shinobi. Inflicts enemies with slowed movement. Da -da -da. Decreases the enemy's defense as well as seal resistance. So seal uh, strip, as we saw in the leaks, decreases nature resistances as well. That's always uh, nice. Strips three seconds invincibility. Increases the user's critical hit rate, which means we don't need a crit boost. Thirty to forty percent will be enough. Of base stats, uh, uh, gives the user status immunity and whatnot, um, increases user's movement speed, etc. Overall, not too bad, uh, not too bad. Um, four stars animation, um, as you'll see, it's like a group of multiple slashes. Um, as I said, his four star and his new Alumber Break both detect traps and not sets it off, so keep that in mind. For defense and overall um, support reasons, I would mix in his old limit break, but I don't think that sets of traps. So, so um, if you're using him as a main, you probably have to use something else besides his old limit break. But for defense purposes, I would use his old limit break. And in combination with his new kit, I think he would do very well as a sub killer room and as a supporter while you being the main. Um, yeah, so pretty decent, pretty cool. So. Overall, that brings us to the end of the video. As I said at the beginning, the banner as a whole is not worth it. Anniversary is literally, is most likely next month. I would say skip and save. Now, if you do summon or if you are in dire need of an evasion strip unit or a good, or I would say a decent main, let's say you knew you don't have final value, I would say that Amadra with his damage nullification could be a good main alternative. He's definitely a good. He definitely has potential to be a good sub killer uh, room shinobi type thing depending on how you build him he could be in your main team as well so uh, so him alone uh, i would say he is worth it yes uh, but take that with a grain of salt and really depends on you so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy the video peace out